Hey everyone, how are you today? Welcome to my page where we talk about universal reconciliation. So I just wanted to give five scriptures of who we are in Christ because I know that being in the body of Christ can be a very lonely road. A lot of us came from Christian backgrounds. Um, take, for example, myself, I was very heavily involved with my local church. Um, they were like my second family. Um, I was involved in all the activities there. I, I pet sat the preacher's dog while he was away on vacation. So losing them, you know, meant, really feels like I lost a part of myself when I came into the body of Christ. Um, so I just wanted to encourage you guys and I, I selected five different scriptures um, to help build you up and to remind you of who you are in Christ. So number one, we are pre-chosen, holy and without blame before him in love. Um, Ephesians 1, 4, I always read from the concordant literal translation. You can find that on concordant.org. So Ephesians 1, 4, according as he chooses us in him before the disruption of the world, we to be holy and flawless in his sight. Hallelujah. Number two, we are vastly loved by God. So I decided to look up the definition of vastly. It's an adverb, and it means to a very great extent, immensely. So God immensely loves us. Ephesians 2, 4. Yet God, being rich in mercy because of his vast love with which he loves us. Hallelujah, guys. We are deeply loved. Number three. We have and know the peace of God. We know that God is not an angry God, that he loves everybody and he's going to save all of mankind and that all of evil will be turned around for good. Philippians 4, 7, and the peace of God that is superior to every frame of mind shall be garrisoning, garrisoning your hearts and your apprehensions in Christ Jesus. So you have God's peace. It's amazing to know that we're not serving an angry God. Number four, we know that God is doing what's best for us. Although this life is so difficult, um, it's it's a relief to know that God is in control. And through suffering is really uh, where God reveals himself the most. It's through our suffering. God uses suffering in a positive way. Um, so Philippians 4.19, Now my God shall be filling your every need in accord with his his riches and glory in Christ Jesus. And lastly, number five, we have a wonderful allotment to look forward to. We get to rule and reign with Christ. How awesome is that? There's probably, there's not many people who get to say that, um, that they get to rule and reign with Christ, and we get to do that. So Romans eight seventeen, yet if children, enjoyers also of an allotment, enjoyers indeed of an allotment from God, yet joint enjoyers of Christ's allotment, if so be that we are suffering together, that we should be glorified together also. Hallelujah. So I hope that this encourages you um, and builds you up because we are living in very difficult and unpredictable times. So just hang in there, body of Christ. If you are new to my page, please check out my pinned comment below where I talk about, or we can find more information about universal reconciliation, which is the salvation of all mankind. Take care, guys. Bye.